This is a demonstration video of the Danset record player. I'm just going to show you how to use it so you'll be familiar with it when you receive it. First thing to do is screw down the two transit screws on the deck located here and here. Screw those fully down clockwise so the deck floats on its springs and remember to unclip the arm. The two main controls are on the front for on-off volume and tone and I'll demonstrate those while the record is playing. On the deck you have the speed control here, stop start here and size detection is at the back via the trip lever here. You can load between one and six records, I'll demonstrate with two just so you can see it play. Pop the records onto the spindle edge and put the stacker arm across and turn the right hand control knob all the way around to start the auto changer. Volume is the right hand control and tone on the left. Turn the right hand control knob all the way around again if you want to skip to the next record. So I'll demonstrate with the start of a 12 inch record as well. When you stack a 10 or 12 inch record, this lever here is a size selector lever, so you need to make sure the record is stacked above the lever like so, and that is so that the tone arm knows to land in the correct position. the arm lifts off automatically at the end of the record. If you don't want to use the auto changer and you just want to play one record manually at a time, you can just place an individual record down the spindle onto the mat. If it's a 7 inch record you can leave the stacker bar in the upright position and turn the dial all the way around and the arm will go across. That's for 7 inch records only. Or select the manual position which is the first click on the right hand dial and then place the arm onto the record yourself. Once the arm is on the record and it's playing, load the stacker arm down so it knows to switch off at the end of the record. Or if you leave it playing with the stacker bar left in the upright position, that enables the repeat function. That's for 7 inch records only and the same 7 inch will play over again. So I hope that covers everything for you. If you do have any questions when you receive it, I'll include my email address in with the machine and please use that method to contact.